with NVIDIA RTX 3000 GPUs starting to get closer to MSRP and with more availability, should you consider the light hash rate models, the LHR models that NVIDIA introduced? What are they and how should you compare them with the typical GPUs that we've seen recently? Let's get started. <music> Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Some say every time you subscribe and smash that like button, you get a little bit closer to getting the GPU of your dreams. All right, so today let's take a look at the light hash rate model or the LHR GPUs that NVIDIA has transitioned mostly all of their GPUs to that are coming out now. First, let's talk about what it is and which GPUs are affected since it's not particularly all, all of them. And then we'll see if you should even consider these or try to get sort of the regular models that have been out on the market. So first, what is a light hash rate GPU? Well, in order to combat these GPUs, being used for mining, specifically Ethereum mining. NVIDIA put sort of an artificial lock on these GPUs. It could be firmware and hardware based. For example, it started with the 3060, which was eventually bypassed by a beta driver. Now, the newer LHR GPUs have so far not been unlocked like the original 3060 was. So who knows? NVIDIA has said maybe if the market changes in the future, there's a slight possibility that maybe with a driver or something like that, they can definitely unlock it but for now all it means is that if you're gonna you know mine ethereum with it as well as a few other coins very specifically the hash rate is going to be maybe around only 50 percent or something like that now you could say all right it's still mineable will people still buy them most likely because ROI or return on investment is sort of a really big thing that people look for when they're using these GPUs to mine, specifically Ethereum. They're going to look at something like a 3080 Ti, which is still very expensive. Some models can be, you know, 1200, 1400 with inflated pricing. They could be upwards of, you know, 17 or 1800 dollars. They're going to look at that and they're going to see that the hash rate is half of what it should be, maybe around 60 mega hash or something like that, which is more similar to a 3070, which is significantly cheaper. Not only that, it's all also significantly less power hungry. Even though the hash rate is limited, the 3080 Ti pulls a lot of power, almost basically like a 3090. And if you're not getting sort of the hash rate to go along with that high power draw, it's not going to be very interesting at all to the people that would use this for mining. So basically, it's supposed to affect only the hash rate specifically of Ethereum, but it does get a few other coins in there as well. It doesn't affect the hash rate of every single coin. So some people certainly have found alternative methods to mine with the GPU that are still you know a little bit more profitable than Ethereum but in general most people are not gonna bother with that just because it really just affects that hash rate it's not really supposed to have any or maybe just a negligible effect on any type of gaming performance so that's why the idea here is that these will be specifically geared towards gamers and be not really very desirable for the miners now it seems like most of the GPUs going forward such as the 3070 Ti 3080 Ti, even the GPUs that were produced previously that are now going to be produced from now on, like the 3080, 3070, those will all have these light hash rate implications. The only one that seems to have escaped this is the RTX 3090. I'm sure there are many reasons why it maybe it doesn't need this. Of course, it is a very expensive GPU already, so maybe Nvidia felt that maybe limiting the hash rate of the 3090 would give it just way too many drawbacks compared to a 3080 Ti or a 3080 where the performance is already very close for gaming that nobody would ever buy the 3090 again but that's a GPU that's going to remain sort of safe and free and basically every single GPU that was released you know last year like the regular 3080 and 3070 that were produced I'm assuming up to a certain point those will also stay okay I don't think Nvidia is going to release any type of like update that's going to you know half their performance so it's basically going to be things manufactured from a point you know close to where we are now going forward and for most GPUs, it should indicate it on the box, like LHR or light hash rate. And even if you've been part of the EVGA queue, recently they've been sending out emails to people. Uh, I got a few emails as well. I think I was on the list for like one or two GPUs that I signed up way before the light hash rate, you know, uh, sort of implementations came about. 
it basically said your position is going to be changed from the regular GPU, which had the full hash rate, something like, you know, a 3080, to a GPU that's now going to be the light hash rate model. Stay in your same position in the EVGA queue, but you're now going to get the light hash rate model, which for gamers mostly shouldn't really matter at all. It's only going to matter to the people that really wanted to use those GPUs for mining. Now they have to decide if they want to opt out or, you know, get that GPU for whatever reason. So that's certainly something to think about. You can assume that most GPUs going forward that you'll be able to get will have this sort of light hash rate limit. And as far as we know, the gaming performance should be pretty much the same. They say the GPU is exactly the same as the previous versions, which didn't have any of this limit. So for the most part, if you're just going to use it to game, you shouldn't be worried. Now, what are some other things you should know about the light hash rate models? Now, of course, even though gaming performance should be the same, who knows if it's going to have an effect on the resale value. Mining comes back into profitability and everything in the market is similar to what it's been the last few months. If you try to resell your GPU and you have a regular 3080 versus a 3080 that is a light hash rate model, you can assume that the one that has more potential is going to sell for a premium. Who knows, maybe for a miner it could be certainly a, a very hefty premium of a few hundred dollars difference just because it doesn't have that indication and that limitation of a light hash rate. So that's certainly a possibility that can happen in the future. Of course, if mining continues to go down and we have a GPU crash in price anyway, none of that will matter i think if the gamers are buying the gpu most people won't really care if it's light hash rate limited or if it has you know the regular gpu that came out last year because they're not going to be using it for the purpose that would indicate any type of limitation and like i said before even for a lot of miners they're able to somehow sometimes bypass a lot of those limitations by maybe changing to a different coin that's more profitable or something like that. Even though a workaround hasn't been found yet like was for the 3060, perhaps in the future maybe something will come out so some people could have their eyes on that and that certainly would change their value proposition in the market as it compares to the other GPUs. So in summary, should you buy a light hash rate model? I think so. You may not even have a choice. And maybe most of the GPUs that come out now are going to have sort of that moniker. So if you're only going to use it for gaming, I think you'll be fine. You're never really going to notice a difference. It's really speculative at this point if it's going to have much um, impact on the value of the GPU long term, say in two or three years. That's going to depend on how mining is during that time. But there's a potential for it to really have that issue. If you could choose, it would be much better to get the non-light hash rate model of whatever GPU you you can find just because that one is going to have the same performance and still not have any limitation so that would be my decision if i would look in that both of those gpus at once and i could actually choose but like i said you may not be able to choose going forward in the market lhr may be sort of the dominant factor and i think as long as you're just gaming with it you'll be fine if you wanted to use it for the occasional mining to pay off some of that cost that's predominantly going to be where that drawback will reveal itself because a gpu won't be as profitable to pay off your investment as it would have been if it was a model released previously all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions down below would you consider an lhr model do you really care are you just going to use it for gaming and i'll see you guys on the next video